So what should you be tracking for your e-commerce store? In this video, I'm gonna show you what you should be setting up in your Google Analytics to track your e-commerce store correctly. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there, and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and on this channel, we do marketing tech reviews, tutorials, and give you tips on better tracking, just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Now, a while ago, I did a video on what you should be tracking for your website, and that more data doesn't always equal more insights. So if you have an e-commerce store, you might be asking yourself, how can I apply this to my e-commerce store and build up the tracking? Now I have worked in e-commerce companies before and when I started out my digital marketing career. So I have a little bit of insights because we did a lot of things wrong and tracked a lot of data that we never used. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips on what you should be tracking for your e-commerce store. All right, before we get started, you need to have your Google Analytics installed and then we can start with a basic setup. Now, what is important for an e-commerce store? For an e-commerce store, really, it's important to get your outcome tracked, which is the sale. This is something you wanna increase. This is the number you wanna increase at the end of the day. Now, gathering context about this data point, about the actual sale is very important. Google Analytics, for example, has a very nice feature, which is called the e-commerce tracking, which lets you do exactly that gather data about your sale, but also about the context of the sale. So how much was sold, what price was in there, uh, what products were bought, um, shipping costs and so on. So you have a lot of data surrounding this and can analyze it later on in your tracking correctly. So this is the most important part to install on your e-commerce store. And if your e-commerce store doesn't have that installed, get it installed right now. Now the second part is all about getting your sources tracked. And this is about the question, where did my users or these sales come from in the end? And this is all about getting your landing page URLs tagged correctly with UTM parameters. If you don't know what they are, I have another video on that as well. But this will tell you where your users are from and give you that crucial part of you have people coming to your website and converting somehow and where did these people come from and did they buy or didn't they buy. So we have these two pieces that are crucial for our basic setup of Google Analytics on an e-commerce store. And really for me, this is really a lot of insight already. So if you are working on optimizing your ad spend, you can be tracking a lot through these two pieces already and these need to be in place in order to have a base tracking that actually works for your e-commerce store. Now let's get into the advanced section. Now in the advanced section, you would like to get more insights from your data and probably you have a little bit more resources available to actually look at that data and also gain insights from it. What I would recommend is to gather data about the crucial touch points of your website. So when people come from that source that you have defined and that you can now use to actually segment your traffic, then you wanna be making sure that they go through the checkout co completely or what they actually do on the category pages, what are, how do they use the category pages, how do they use the product pages and so on. And there's a great feature set within Google Analytics called the Enhanced E-Commerce Tracking. Now, when you want to install this, it's probably a little bit harder to set up. That's why I, wanna, I would recommend to get proper help to install this, but the, data that you will get is very beneficial to actually look at that and gain great insights about how your users are using your e-commerce website. And this is really already a little bit more sophisticated. You need to have somebody to actually look at the data and again, gain insights from it and take action on that and optimize your website. Other than that, I think that's already a very big step up in the right direction to getting a bit more advanced in your analytics efforts on your e-commerce website. All right, then you go into the expert level and the expert level is all about getting more insight and more contextual data about the data points that you have already been tracking. So being able to segment your data in a more meaningful way is very important. So you need to send more dimensions and more contextual data into Google Analytics in order to be able to do that actually. What I would recommend is to set up a plan, think about which questions you really wanna answer and then send the right custom dimensions into the system. So for example, for users, 
Is this already an existing customer? What is his lifetime value, for example? How can we be tracking that within a Google Analytics or also outside of the system? So on a more BI basis, um, get going more into the different systems that you might have set up in your CRM system and so on to gain insights. Again, this is something that you would probably do once you have a person inside of the company who is already responsible for data, a BI person or somebody who is an analyst within the company who can actually take that data and do the hard number crunching. This is not something that you would probably do as an online marketer who just looks into how can I optimize my PPC campaign. So it bit needs a bit more effort to send that data in. It needs a bit more effort to get insights out and it needs resources to maintain that data as well. So be very intentional again about what you should be tracking for your e-commerce store. All right, I hope these tips helped you to get a better sense and feeling about what you should be tracking for your e-commerce store. If you have any questions about this or you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I would be really interested if you are an e-commerce owner, what you think is the most important part of your analytics today and the data that you are gathering. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because we'll bring you new videos every Wednesday. My name is Julian, till next time.